Hey, how's it going everybody? This is the D-Pad Crew here with another rendition of D-Pad Crew Let's Plays. I am your host DB and I am joined today by... Pepstyles, Castability here. And for this alliteration of D-Pad Crew Let's Plays, we're going to be tackling an old Capcom classic, Mega Man. So, shall we begin? So, Mega Man. One of uh, Capcom's most popular franchises, besides Resident Evil and Street Fighter these days. So although, it's, nowadays it's kind of on the back burner to some, but it, since E3, um, before uh, its 30th anniversary, it's becoming a bit more of a... Uh, it's beginning to get a little bit more of a resurgence. Starting with the... Release of the Legacy Collection, Mega Man 1 and Legacy Collection 1 and 2 on the Switch, which is what we're playing this on, and the upcoming Legacy Collection for the Mega Man X series, which we'll get to eventually. But to start things off, let's start with Bomb Man, shall we? Yep. Speaking of E3 though, hmm? I think you should tell everybody what's gonna happen in Smash. Yep. This is this has been recorded just after the Nintendo Di Nintendo Direct to V3, with the recent announcement of Smash Brothers Ultimate. They're bringing in every. Actually, this is how my brother summed it up. Send in everyone. Which, Which one? one? Everyone. <laughs> yeah. They are pretty. They are pretty much bringing back. Everybody for the for this one. That's true, but that's not what I'm talking about. Oh, do tell, Casta. The newest edition. You can tell me if you like. I want to do. They've added some new fighters to the mix, in the form of the Inkling Brigade. <laughs> not just that, but what? What about what they re what they announced at out three? Mm. A certain lizard. He's too freaking big. But yeah, they brought back Ridley. And what you just saw there wasn't just the game glitchy up. It's one of the new features for the Mega Man Legacy Collection. Well, at least for the Switch, at least. The power to rewind time. Yay! And nope. yeah, they. And no, Ridley's not going to be an, an NPC. He is going to be the real deal fighter. You get to play as him. <laughs> and just for the record, I only I will be showing off sometimes of use of the uh, rewind feature of this, but I'm not going to be like one of those to abuse it. <sighs> and to be honest, Ridley did. Dick move when when he was introduced, because when he defeated Mario and he finally got revealed, he was holding Mario's hat like, check out who I killed. You gotta admit that I that is right, Dee. Uh huh. Oh god, Sniper Joe's the bane of Mega Man players' existence. Actually, it's more of those little enemies that do random jumping, like low jumps or high jumps. I went through the boss doors. Or the, the boss gate. Now, play this safe. I'm going to have to play this safe. I could just jump down, but... I do actually want to try and get through this on one life. Get through this particular stage on one life. Woo! Slowly, slowly. Go! Go, 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 go! And we're at the boss. Bomb man! And I get blown up by the freaking bomb residue. 
It's not residue, it's shrapnel. Kill the boo! Cedric isn't even here! So I kind of wish at times he was, even though it did actually talk, actually have a... Did actually, uh, speak to him on... Speak, actually made a... Sent a dis few Discord messages to him earlier today. That's cool. And that's one thing I've got to do later. I've got to because I have an appointment tomorrow. I've got to send off some <sighs> games that I was said I was going to share with him. Anyways, that's that for Bomb oh, yeah. Man. And now it's time to move on to our next boss. Sweet. Also, guess what? One of the things I got in Golden Rod City. What? <clears throat> Bicycle. Bicycle. I want to ride my bicycle. And now it's time for... <laughs> Gutsman! I seriously wonder how that became a meme. Seriously. And us. And that's one of those cartoon series I really should get around to checking out. The Ruby Spears Mega Man cartoon. Which, by the way, did anyone ever actually see the original, uh... Dum -bum 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 -bum. Did anyone ever actually see the original pitch for the Ruby Spears Mega Man cartoon? No. It looked more like the games than the, Af than the end product did. And that's just saying a lot. <laughs> oh look, Hammer Brother Metals. Instead of sledgehammers, they throw fucking pickaxes. Ow. Now, I thought I should mention this. Originally, I had plans to do a let do the, do a Let's Play series of this using the Mega Man Anniversary Collection for the PlayStation 2 and GameCube. However, the one thing is, I would actually want the biggest complaint I have with the Legacy Collection. They banked too much on the nostalgia factor. Just seriously, what I mean by that is, they decided to keep the games as it were, but make them in eight, but give them make them more clean. They haven't changed any as changed any of the other as any other aspect. So, in other words, unlike the anniversary collection, you will get a lot of sprite sprite flickering. Sometimes it can work to your advantage, so at other times it gets really annoying. And that's one thing the anniversary collection fixed. Bicycle. Yeah, Chris. Yeah, uh, Cass is playing Christopher at the moment. Well, at the time of this recording, that is. Mhm. Mm Rock bands over A, you saw... Oh yeah! There was also this one, uh... Mega Man OVA. That was, uh, released around the time, I would say, Mega Man 5 was new. Hm. It's one of those OVA, one of those OVAs I really should get around to checking out. But anyways, our next, next Robot Master, Cut Man. And it's time to cut him down to size, wouldn't you say? God. Let me just get one thing out of the way. I hate these. I hate these bots. They are so damn aggressive, and they will not stop following you unless you destroy until you destroy them. Eww. 
Actually, Caster, here's a question for you. Have you ever heard of the game Mega Man Powered Up? Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. And let's just, and I'll be honest with you, it's one of those versions of Mega Man 1 I really, I really have means to try, mean to try out. Or at least find a physical copy. Although, uh, fucking luck. I have actually seen a few copies about Caster. Anyways. Yeah, but they're usually freaking expensive. <sighs> Although there is one of, well, I should mention a little, a little earlier ahead. There is one let's play I do actually have planned to try and do as somewhat of a late birthday gift for someone that we both know that's very well known in the uh, analysis community. Anyway, more details of that I will get into later. But anyway, back on the topic of Cutman for a sec. Should I tell you why, what rendition of Cutman's theme I actually prefer the most? What? The one that appeared in the Saturn version of Mega Man 8. <clears throat> and this is one little other gripe I have with Legacy Collection 2 this time. They don't use the they don't use the Sega Saturn version of Mega Man 8. They use the PS1 of the PS1 original. And you want and to be honest, the Saturn version of Mega Man 8 is the more definitive edition. Because it has two extra bosses, has a bit more polish, and a, and a little bit, of, and one or two different themes for some stages. Anyways, switch over to Cutsman's weapon, and now it's time to take on Cutman. Anyway, best tactic to put, take down Cutman relatively quickly. Owned. Owned. And anyways, that does it for episode one of the Me of Mega Man One. So, with all that said, we'll see you for part two when we take on the other remaining six robot masters. So, until then, I'll see you guys then.